Hi, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Op Ed Average podcast, where we have a lot of opinions, but most of them are pretty average. I'm Monica, and as you can see, I'm missing my other half on this podcast, Anna. But it's okay because I actually have my actual other half <laughs> joining me today in honor of a very special episode for uh, the Valentine's Day, Valentine's Month theme we have going on, I guess. In the next episode, uh, don't worry, Anna will be back with her own very special guest, so you're going to want to keep an eye out for that one. In today's episode, I thought it would be fun to do an Am I the Asshole segment with Jay. So uh, Jay, before we move on, uh, why don't you introduce yourself? That's right. (laughs) Hello. Um, (laughs) My name is Jay. I'm on a podcast that most people probably never heard of, the Average Nerd Podcast. We're just a bunch of average guys talking about nerdy things. <laughs> Nailed it. I think, I think I got that. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, no, I, I'm i just here because, you know, it's Valentine's and stuff. Did I make him come on to this episode? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. No, I, I, I wanted to be here. Yeah. <laughs> so in usual fashion whenever we do these am i the asshole segments usually Anna and i we pick our own am i the asshole articles are they called at articles uh i call them articles are they threads? Posts, just posts on oh, reddit posts. okay <laughs> yeah. um yeah we pick um a few posts that we find interesting or funny so i volunteered jay to uh pick out his own and it shouldn't be too hard because jay is actually on reddit a lot more often than I am. So all I do. <laughs> so this this is really really easy for him. Let's just go through some of these articles and talk about them. Sure. You do you want to go first? Go first? first. Oh. Oh, I beat you to it. I <laughs> <laughs> you want to do it like Rochanto. <laughs> sure. Okay. Well, I, well, uh, do we go? Rock paper scissors. Not rock paper no scissors. Shoot. Shoot. Okay. No shoot. No yeah. shoot. Rock paper scissors. <laughs> Okay, I win. You go first. I'll go first. By the way, that's how we solve a lot of our indecisions. And I usually lose. (laughs) Well, today. uh, (laughs) Yeah, clearly we made an exception today. (laughs) Let's see. Which one do I want to start with? Here's a post that I feel like. We can kind of relate to, kind of, kind of Mm, not, I don't know. The title of this post is, am I the asshole for not letting my girlfriend eat the naan bread we ordered? Fluffy bread. (laughs) Fluffy bread. I love naan. (laughs) So this post says, my girlfriend and I got takeout from an Indian restaurant we really like and order from usually when our budget allows us. This place is really the only good Indian place anywhere near us and it's very pricey so we try to keep our order pretty small. The thing is the side of bread isn't very much and the entree just isn't the same without it. So it seriously annoys me when she gets to eat the bread without dipping it in her curry. (laughs) Uh, It is such a waste of the little bread that we get. I told her this before but says it's not my concern how she eats her food except it is my concern because she is wasting a shared side (laughs) whatever i let it go each time (laughs) this time she didn't order curry like she usually does she got biryani which is rice and meat so i was happy that i would get the bread to myself while we were eating she reaches over for the bread and eats a piece on its own i got annoyed (laughs) And moved the bread away from her and told her she doesn't need the bread since she isn't eating a curry and doesn't need bread, whereas I'm eating a curry. So I do need bread. (laughs) This one's easy. Also, (laughs) that her entree comes with rice and she can eat that. She got offended and ended up threatening not to pay her share of the food next time. Oh. She also called me a greedy asshole and took her food and ate the rest in her in our bedroom. My friends are split. One of them says I'm in the right and it's too much carbs for one meal for her to have bread and rice. 
But the other friend essentially also called me a greedy asshole. It's been hours and she's ignoring me. Am I the asshole? <laughs> I think this is easy. <laughs> what would you say? YTA, straight up, you're the asshole. <laughs> it's easy. Gosh, like, okay, maybe we can't really relate to this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was thinking that it was, you know, he wanted to eat it, but then, you know, as a caring boyfriend or whatever, he. Oh, you he thought knew. like that was the only not nah, like it, it, yeah. it at all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even still. <sighs> Well, because there's sometimes when you and I, like, we're eating a shared side uh -huh. where it's like we come down to, like, the last piece. I feel like we're pretty aware of, like, you take half, I take half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, you know, if we're down to, like, the last few bites, we always ask each other, like, do you want the last bite? Do you want yeah. it? Or I notice yeah. that you like it more, so I give it to you instead. Yeah, yeah. But... <laughs> I mean, because because in our situation, much like how we started this, worst case scenario, you rock paper scissors. Yeah. And you just live with that. Yeah. If you, if you lose, you lose. Yeah. But I guess the part that confused me was, well, all of it really confused me. <laughs> but um, the part that confused me where he threatened to not pay her share of the food. Wait, he threatened. To oh, pay? She, uh, she, threatened. she. She said that she wasn't going to pay. Yeah, so she's part. been paying for her share. I guess they've been splitting it, maybe from the sounds of it. So they're that at that type, uh, so at that level they're splitting of the relationship. check. Yeah, they're splitting the check. But they're living in the same, yeah, apartment or whatever. Yeah, so maybe that's their way to like keep everything balanced is that they split the check. So you know, in in theory, you'd probably split the food, right? And, so... and see the 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 main reason why. It, it's he's the asshole isn't even like mm. the you know she she shouldn't eat it you split it and you let them eat it how they want to eat it if she don't want to <laughs> dip it she don't gotta dip it man that's not <laughs> your call i do have like it's not like when you do it but when i'm eating with other people and like i really like the part of the dish like let's say i really like fries because i do I, I love fries and i'm sharing the fries with someone else who i know and they've said explicitly that they don't really enjoy fries but they'll eat it when it's there right yeah <laughs> so i kind of understand his like it's a waste for this food that i enjoy is going to you with someone who doesn't enjoy it but in this situation of course it looks like both of them enjoy it yeah. I do get annoyed. <laughs> I mean, that's 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 kind of fair. But see, the difference is, is that they both eat it all. It's mm. not like, you know, it's not like, oh, let's split this basket of fries. I don't really like fries, so I, I'll take half, but I'm only going to really eat like two or three. Mm -hmm. Now, that's then that's a problem. Yeah, that's right. that, that makes sense. But she eats it all. Mm -hmm. So... Let her eat it how she wants to eat it. Yeah, whether or not she has rice or whatever, or she's having yeah. a curry, or whatever. I mean, I mean... And, and then the whole rice thing, if she orders something, it comes with rice. You just got to hit her with the, so did you still want this bread? <laughs> and if she goes, yeah, yeah, well, then you know what? You got to split the bread still, man. I, I don't know who this friend of his who says is too much carbs for one meal. Not your call. Not your, oh, wait. <laughs> not your call. Not your call. Stay out of this. <laughs> yeah. That's not That's a good argument. <laughs> easy one. Oh, yeah. gosh. Yes. This post, definitely he is the asshole. <laughs> he is the asshole. YTA for sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, let's see. Let's hear one of your articles. That one was so, was so like, casual and easy. I found one that was, like kind of deep and I, I don't maybe i don't go to that one i'll skip that one oh we'll, we'll go to um we'll go here i got i have one am i the asshole for crying over a surprise trip to disney i i wanted to go with this one because we are currently about to go to disney pretty soon Yay. we have we have a trip planned next week from this recording i believe mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. back to this post okay naturally a throwaway account but 
When I was a kid, <laughs> my family was really poor. I used to beg my parents to go to Disney World because I would see the ads on TV all the time. We lived about five hours away from it, but my family just couldn't afford to go. So we never did. Then I met my fiance and we've been really happy. Not really the focus, but he lives or his family lives in Orlando. So we went down to visit. He said he had a surprise plan for me. So we got in the car with him and his whole family. He ended up taking us to Disney World. Not going to lie. I started crying. <laughs> uh, I'm not a huge Disney fan anymore. I wanted to go to those parks so bad as a kid that I was heartbroken that my family could never afford to go. So when I realized we were going, I felt like a little kid and I was so happy. Then comes his mom and sister who get annoyed with her for crying and visibly embarrassed and, and told her that she's a grown woman and she needs to stop crying or stop crying over a theme park. Her whole family has had annual passes for years and they go all the time. So she tried to explain that she was emotional because she was poor when she was younger and she never got to go. And after that, for the rest of the day, the family was kind of standoffish and seemed really annoyed with her. Is she the asshole? For crying? Basically. I, I went from third per first person to third person, but you kind of get where I'm going, <laughs> yeah, right? I was like, a minute. <laughs> uh, yeah. Who's I'm not, I'm not good at reading a first person. It feels weird because I'm like, I don't feel this way. <laughs> so, so basically the, T, the TLDR, this thing. Yeah. She She's never been to Disney because she couldn't afford it. Her now fiance surprises her with a family trip to Disney World with his family. Yeah, They've been to Disney World a ton of times. They have annual passes. Sure. She starts crying and... The fiance's mom and sister are like, why are you crying? Grow up. It's just a theme park. So now she feels bad that she was getting so emotional about going to Disney. Is she the asshole? No. <laughs> why would she be the asshole? <laughs> I, I, I am a very emotional person. I, I tear up whether I'm happy, I'm sad, I'm mad, like all of it. But how is someone going to say in tears of happiness, grow up, we're going to Disneyland? <laughs> <laughs> That's, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> I feel yeah. like you guys don't deserve Disneyland uh, tickets or whatever. Exactly. Is yeah. that your no. attitude? I feel the same way. I, I read this and I was like, oh, this is a this is a softball. This is too easy. But it was about Disney, so I wanted to I wanted to use it. Oh, That's crazy. I, so this is in the uh, point of view of the girl who cried, right? The girl who cried, yeah. She's asking him, is she the asshole for being too emotional about going to Disneyland? What? After never going her whole life. But what does her boyfriend say? Oh, her fiance. So her, her fiance. fiance. Uh, so I, I, I read a little bit down into the comments. Yeah. Because naturally, everyone asked the same thing we said. What did, what, what does your fiance think about yeah. you crying? And basically, according to her, he told his family to back off. Um, hmm. They didn't have a big confrontation because they're going to be in the park together all day. So he didn't want to make a big fuss. But he basically told her to, you know, live your life, have fun, do what you want to do. If you want to meet Mickey Mouse and line up to meet Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse, go do it. And they had a good time. But his mom and his sister ended up basically kind of splitting off and doing their own thing. So it ends pretty okay, in my opinion. Well, I <laughs> what happens after Disney? <laughs> So I don't know. I didn't I didn't go that deep. But basically, the way I see it, she's not the asshole. Mom and sister on the other side, though, kind of asshole. The The main thing is, like, how are you going to say that when you have annual passes to Disney? Yeah. You don't get annual passes unless you really want to go to Disney, like going to Disney. Or so. they've gone so often that they've lost, like, they've lost know, the, the magic. The magic. And they're okay. no longer like, oh, my God, we're so excited to go to Disney again. It's, but then, like, why are you going to go? go? I don't know. Why just the flex that we have this annual pass. Maybe they're grandfathered in. <laughs> like... I mean, they probably are. I mean, like, from the sound <laughs> of it, they've, they've, yeah, it's probably like that. They've gone a million times. Yeah. But like, I don't know. I figured if you're, if you're down with Disney to the point where you have annual passes and you go and use them 
it means you kind of at least enjoy it a little bit right yeah why 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 rain on somebody else's magic i feel like if they're gonna be like that over a trip to disneyland and they know how much how like special it is for you can you imagine like when it's the wedding day are they gonna be like at the <laughs> altar like stop crying you're just getting you married <laughs> it's just the <a> wedding <laughs> we do this all the time <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> that's terrible no she is not um, the asshole mom and sister-in-law are sister. our future future sister-in-law are definitely um the asshole in my opinion yes i yeah. agree that's, that's what... terrible <laughs> <laughs> let's see i have another one i didn't read this one i just opened it and saved it as oh this will be good because <laughs> of the title <laughs> okay oh the title is Am I the asshole for giving my granddaughter a DNA test? Yikes. <laughs> okay. It says, this is about my granddaughter, Lindsay. Lindsay, who is 15, has had it rough being the middle child, and she looks different from all of her other siblings. I truly was confused how she had blonde curly hair while the rest of the family has dark hair. I thought genetics was being weird and of course, I love her. The issue came up when Lindsay told me her parents banned her from getting an ancestry test. I told my son and daughter-in-law that there was something fishy around her birth. She needs to know. I think she forgot an if there. If there is something fishy about her birth. Right. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. They denied it and told me to leave it alone. Now, Lindsay is in sus. high school. <laughs> Very sus. <laughs> And she went to her biology teacher. To put it bluntly, the teacher said it was odd for her to have some of these traits. She came to be distressed asking me to buy a DNA test since she needs to know. <laughs> Long story short, she is not her mother's kid. Oh, felt that coming. My son got someone else pregnant and her biological mom gave her up. This has blown up the family while Lindsay is pissed for being lied to. I am getting a ton of heat for getting her a DNA test. Now they won't talk to me, which is making Lindsay even more mad at them. Um, she added an edit. She says, the grandmother met her granddaughter when she was about six months old. Really not hard to hide the whole thing. Um, and then she made a second edit. I'm confused why a lot of Redditors are treating her like she is five and not 15. All I did was buy it. She did all the paperwork and shipped it. It's not hard. <laughs> <laughs> well okay is she the asshole for buying a uh, dna test i don't think she's the asshole it might not have been like the best play but i i don't think she's really an asshole for for doing it oh, she could kind of be the asshole though because there's a lot of assholes involved in this one mm -hmm. i think out of all of them the the girl the little girl is not the asshole the parents are kind of assholes for not just telling. I'm guessing it's the husband's mom, right? Because it's her son. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're kind of the asshole for for not just coming clean to his mom, to her, the author, to the OP. You just got to get an understanding of the situation. I mean, mm -hmm. the grandmother, the, the original poster, the OP that's, that's posting all this. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I'm like kind of asshole, kind of not. Because, I mean, the moment that your son and his wife told you not to worry about it you gotta kind of already know <laughs> right? so like i don't know i feel like she did it half knowing off an assumption like this mm -hmm. is gonna turn out bad i feel like she's not the asshole for getting the dna test yeah but i i feel like she has some responsibility in like enabling the whole situation like yeah she, her, the, her granddaughter's 15 so she's not like of age yet maybe they wanted to wait to tell her until like later i mean why you gotta also involve like the biology teacher <laughs> to yeah. like confirm things yeah if her son and her daughter-in-law you know like it was like yeah i leave it alone they could have been like maybe he thought his own mom didn't know <laughs> <laughs> didn't want her to know 
I guess she, I mean it's it sounds like they did. He's the want one who got Yeah, cuz he's the one who got the other girl pregnant. As far as we know, imagine if they got the test back and it's like, "Oh yeah, that's not your dad." <gasps> <laughs> like, I mean, I'm sure there's more in the comments, but Oh, let me yeah. see. Imagine if they were like, "Oh yeah, we got your test back. That's your mom. Your dad's a different guy. He's this blonde dude." I mean, either way, it's still bad. Still bad, still bad. Someone says your son and his wife suck for lying to her until she is 15 about something so important and trying to keep lying to her even after she obviously started to question things. Based on the context, you'd assume that the dad's the dad and the mom yeah. is somebody else. Yeah. 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 I guess overall, not the asshole. Just, just probably not the best way it played out. Probably could have done better about how it went down. Someone said... Just out of curiosity, how do you not know that your granddaughter's mom is not her biological mom? Uh, yeah, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. Like, what if <clears throat> the mom in this couple is the real mom and the dad isn't? Your son had a kid and you never noticed his wife or girlfriend was not pregnant? <laughs> uh, so that's a good explanation. We take those. <laughs> the OP said, they told me. Lindsay explained it calmly and my son was yelling about it. They used mm. to live on the other side of the country, and I only met Lindsay when she was about six months old. Oh, okay. So yeah, yeah, that yeah. they confirmed it with a test then. Yeah. <laughs> Overall, not the asshole. Just not the best way. Just a very out. crabby situation. Yeah. And... I mean, at the end of the day, I think the girl, yeah, she she deserves to know. Yeah, probably not with a. Not in that way. <laughs> not, nah, not that way. <laughs> okay. Next post. Mm, okay. Okay. Let me see. Let me pull something up here. Okay, here. This one's Valentine's related. And it's very, very similar. <laughs> or it has like um, things that you'll be like, oh, this sounds oddly familiar. Oh. Okay. So <laughs> the title of the post is Am I the Asshole for Not Posting a Picture of My Girlfriend on Valentine's Day? <laughs> Continue. Uh, so I'm trying to read this whole thing in first person the way it's supposed to be read. Mm. Okay, so I, 22, have been dating my girlfriend, who's 23, for a year and some change. I'd consider the relationship both a happy and healthy one overall. I'm very much so in love and feel ways for her that I've never felt about anyone before. Good for you, man. Aww. Anyway, Valentine's <laughs> Day was a few days ago, and we couldn't be together because she was on a skiing trip with her family. We agreed to celebrate when she got back. I still messaged her on Valentine's Day and told her that I loved her, but I'm trying to save all the big stuff, so to say, until she gets back in town. That being said, I woke up to a text next morning from her that said, why didn't you say anything about me anywhere on Valentine's Day? Nothing on Snapchat. Like, you didn't even have a girlfriend on Valentine's Day. Since then, she's been acting kind of different, even though I have apologized repeatedly. I feel awful. I didn't intentionally not post the picture or flex her or anything. I just don't use so social media that way, I guess. She did post a picture of me on her Snapchat, and I appreciate it, but I didn't really think it was such a big deal that I needed to do it too. If it was that big of a deal to her, I feel like a hint, and by hint, I mean a really big hint because half the time I'm a clueless boy. A big hit would have been great. I've always enjoyed living in the moment, and I think that stems from seeing my dad live behind his camera lens as I grew up. So I was more or less just focused on putting my efforts towards making the time with her when she was here very special. You could be damn sure, though, that I'm going to make sure to post a picture to flex her when we celebrate our own Valentines. So I'm interested to hear other, other people's perspective on the importance of this. Am I the asshole for not flexing her on Valentine's Day when she was doing it for me? <laughs> <laughs> first and backstory <laughs> uh, if you do follow jay or if you follow me on social media you will know that we don't post it very no. often <laughs> we very rarely post just any regular day-to-day -day stuff sometimes like big eventful stuff but we ourselves do not actually post much on like valentine's day or really any of the, like the big couple holidays so kind of biased i guess the, i don't think he's the asshole if he doesn't typically do that <laughs> i think we had like a conversation about this when we first started dating right like we yeah we talked about like is it okay that 
they didn't post anything because <laughs> I know that's what other couples typically do. But I don't know. I feel like if we're on the same page and if that's not what we're used to doing, it, it doesn't mean we're we don't think that this relationship is special. <laughs> yeah, yeah. By the lingo that he uses, like flexing, like yeah, a he puts lot. every time every time you hear flexing, it's in quotation marks. Oh, why yeah. is he end up putting like quotation marks? Maybe because he doesn't really get it. He's like, why do I got to be flexing her on Instagram? I don't know, or Snapchat or whatever. You also, use. do people still post on like Snapchat like that? Like, isn't that still no, like the well, type of? Um... I don't even know how old this post is. Let me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's it's old. It's dead. Oh, okay, okay, it's, okay. It's still, like 20, 20, 19, 2020. But still, like Snapchat from when I used to remember it, it was not like a permanent post. No, so you it's, put it's like it out stories. there for like it's uh, like Instagram stories. Yeah. So it's yeah. like, oh, it's cool that you're posting about me, but like a few hours later, it's not going to be there. So yeah, yeah. So is basically, it a yeah, and, representation of like yeah, our in, in turn, love? she she basically only posted a temporary post for the day. Yeah. So she posts a, a post on Snapchat that goes away by tomorrow, mm-hmm. and he doesn't post anything. So is he the asshole there? I don't think so. I don't think so either. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Although I wouldn't be opposed if you. <laughs> yeah I, I, know, I know i know but if like let's say i post something and then you don't post anything this is ba- that's basically what happened i don't think i would be mad because i'm supposed to be posting it because i want to i'm not posting it to expect you to to re- re- reciprocate the post yeah. on social media yeah yeah it's not a transactional thing. It's like I'm posting it because I want to flex about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah, yeah. like that word. <laughs> I don't. I don't either. I, I feel like he's using it because he doesn't know the right context or word to use because he brag? doesn't do this stuff. Do people not say brag anymore. I guess. Yeah. I guess that's the same thing. Maybe this is just you know five year old lingo that's. <laughs> but I yeah. I don't think he's the asshole either. I mean. Social media is, is, you know, some people like to post only the good stuff on social media. Some mm-hmm. people post everything on social media. Some people don't post on social media and just, you know, consume social media. Like, I look at a lot of stuff on the internet. I don't really post anything on the internet anymore. Yeah. But I think, yeah, I don't think he's the asshole. I uh, do admit that sometimes I do, like ask because i don't take pictures of myself i take a lot of pictures and videos of like other people Mm -hmm. um so i'm sometimes actively asking you like hey can you like help me take pictures and yeah yeah you know i mean we we always talk about it we always talk about it like you know new year's resolution stuff we always say for as long as we've been together more than half the time we've been together our new year's resolution is like okay more pictures more we're gonna take more pictures not necessarily for social media, but even just for our own thing. Because I think a lot of times, like you said, you're you're taking other people's photos or just taking pictures of stuff. Mm-hmm. I tend to take pictures of things more than I take pictures of people. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, we look back at all of our pictures together and we're just we like, have nothing we're, to not prove. In, we're not in <laughs> any of these things. How do we even, I mean, other than the fact that there are phones or our cameras, there is nothing to say that this is our stuff. We're not going to be able to show anyone that we've been married for five years. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 2024. <laughs> More pictures, at, at the very least, for ourselves. Yes. Yeah. 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 So not not the asshole. Not the asshole. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Okay. So the post title is, am I the asshole for driving away without my wife because she can't plan? Yes. <laughs> we don't even have to like read the rest. What the of heck? It. You just abandon your wife. <laughs> that's that's Let's crazy. Hear about. Let's hear him okay. out. Okay, maybe I'll change my mind, but initial response, yes. He has a very lengthy post. And usually okay. when they're lengthy posts, I feel like it's maybe a lot to justify. <laughs> okay. The poster says or OP, right? OP. Mm, yeah. For the past week, my wife and I had been anticipating a baseball game for which we had purchased tickets. 
We like baseball, but we don't attend many games, so traveling into the city to see games is a rare treat. I know, though, that it would take time to drive there and find parking due to traffic. Because the game starts at 7 p.m., and we live about 45 minutes from the stadium, I told her in the morning that she needs to be ready to get in the car and go by 6 p.m. Well, my wife is an avid gamer, so she was engrossed in her latest video game well, when the clock struck 5.45 p.m. She has struggled to plan in the past, and I get tired reminding her that she needs the budget time to get ready. It's as if she has no concept of time at all, similar to a young child. Dang. <laughs> this, is, this is rough. <laughs> Well, I was ready to go by 6 p.m. and she was in the bathroom. I saw this as an opportunity to teach her a personal responsibility. So I simply left the house without saying a word, got in the car and started driving to the game. It took my wife a few minutes to figure out what I had done. But when she called me, she was absolutely furious. <laughs> I mean... My guy. This, this is crazy. <laughs> she said that it was a completely unacceptable move for me to leave without telling her and that she now had no way to get to the game without paying for parking. I told her that I got tired of constantly waiting for her and that she would plan better next time if she didn't want to get left behind. He sounds like he hates her. <laughs> I don't, are they married yet? Yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah. I also reminded her that I had told her that morning when I expected her to be ready to leave. Absolutely none of this seemed to matter, though, and she rudely hung up on me after yelling out more insults. Frankly, I think it's, it's completely insane that a grown woman is unable to budget her time, and I'm starting to suspect that she's doing this on purpose because she's a narcissist who expects me to accommodate her. After all, she's not a dumb woman. She has a science degree. <laughs> what does that have to do with it? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Keep going. Keep, yeah, let's, let's wrap this one. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> well, she never showed up to the stadium. And I didn't hear from her the whole game. Oh, big surprise. <laughs> <laughs> but when I got home, there was a note on the door. She told me that I wasn't welcome in the bedroom and that I should sleep on the couch. I can't believe she wants to be she wants to be this much of a pill. If I had waited for her, I would have missed the first pitch. I wow. made my expectations clear and she couldn't be bothered to meet them. I feel like she should be apologizing to me. Am I the asshole? Yes. Yes. Hard <laughs> yes. Easy yes. Hard yes. <laughs> What the, what the heck is this? Okay, okay. First off, it's baseball. As someone who was a diehard baseball fan growing up, the game takes forever. It's baseball. It's the first pitch. Of like over 300 of them. It's <laughs> fine. You're, you're fine. That's wild. That yeah, I, it didn't seem like they were like married. <laughs> he sounds like he hates his roommate and wants <laughs> to take her out on like, yo, let's hang out, roomie, for once. And she's like, nah, okay, maybe. And then he leaves anyway. I, how would I don't I don't know. I can't wrap my head around this. He sounds like he hates her. Baseball is not that important. It's it's, I, I don't know. It's crazy. He's the asshole. He's the asshole. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. I mean, I don't know how he wrote this like so convinced that other people would feel. Because he's a narcissist. Yeah. How dare he <laughs> say she's a narcissist? Nine times out of ten. And this is a fake stat. Nine times out of ten, a narcissist calls people narcissists. <laughs> <laughs> But that's crazy. How dare you compare like this whole situation to be like, she's smart enough to plan out her time because she's got a science degree. That has nothing to do with anything. And she's an oh. avid gamer. Okay. All right. And yeah, like he should just get good at life. So, so she was, she was getting ready. 
mm-hmm. right? She was in the mm-hmm. bathroom getting ready yes. when, mm-hmm. when it was supposed to be time to leave. Yeah. And again, this is his wife. Mm-hmm. So they've been married. They've been together. I don't know how long they've been together, but long enough to get married. Mm-hmm. At this point, you should know your wife. You know she takes forever. You know she's going to do this. Well, he you know said she's going to wait. fed up that. about it. Clearly. <laughs> you can be mad that she's late, right? But I feel like it's a whole another level for you to abandon her, like leave without telling her. Yeah. If, if anything, uh, I would have cut a little slack if instead of just leaving, he made that like the threat, right? She's like, mm-hmm. Hey, we're supposed to go like now. If you don't get ready in like five minutes, I'm gone. Yeah. And then she's like, "Well, I ain't gonna make it. Whatever." <laughs> and then he leaves. <laughs> then you got it. Then then she just fires up the fucking console and she's like, "I'm just gonna keep playing games. Forget it. Whatever." Because <laughs> you know, but to but to dip like sight unseen without saying anything that's that's crazy. It's crazy. I don't get it. Yeah, if you feel, like, no remorse at all. Then I drove 45 minutes. 45 minutes. And sat through a whole baseball game. Mm, Saw the first and the last pitch. Not even, like, (laughs) let me just watch this first pitch, because apparently it's really important to me, but I'll come back and pick you up, or whatever. I don't know. Like, the fact that he wants the teacher some lesson. The only Mm. thing missing from this is I want to know what team. (laughs) <laughs> would it matter <laughs> it, it wouldn't matter in any positive way to help him it would just make him a bigger asshole if it was like a trash team what if it was like uh, uh is is it the playoffs for baseball is yeah there... yeah they have playoffs and even if man i don't know even i mean if yeah game, of course i'm still like you still gotta say something Mm-hmm. You still gotta say. You just gotta be like, "Hey, I'm leaving without you, or, or with you, or without you." If you're not ready in five minutes, if yeah. you want, if you really want to push this, although, why would you even bother going that far? I don't know. It's it's a baseball game, man. There's a hundred and sixty something of them every year. When he started calling her a young child, That's yeah, crazy. I don't think i don't think you guys should be married <laughs> in my personal opinion yeah. if you were to call me a young child in, in that condescending way oh uh, yeah yeah uh, but she's not a child because she's smart she has a science degree well, <laughs> he says she should be smart and she's not a dumb woman it's very childish to name call what an he's, idiot he's the asshole he's the asshole through and through for sure uh, that's crazy well, i can't stop saying that? it because it is <laughs> oh man okay 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 i want um, you to decide off the title of this next okay. one if they're okay. the asshole or not and then we'll see if we'll change our mind okay okay am i the asshole for telling my brother-in-law to pay me 700 dollars for my lost coat when i bought it for a hundred dollars is this person the asshole just off the title wait so the person's telling their brother-in-law to pay them seven hundred dollars because their brother-in-law lost a coat, a coat that the poster purchased for a hundred. But it was worth seven hundred. Maybe, but off the title, is he the asshole? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, well let's well, let's see. Right? If you go off the title, then yeah, that person's the asshole. But let's see. Okay. Okay. So last year I was at the mall with my fiance. When I saw this awesome cashmere wool coat, it was perfect in every way. And there was only one left in my size. And the best news was that it was on clearance for a hundred dollars. So I bought it without even thinking twice. Okay. I worn it several times last year, but it hasn't really been that cold enough this year for me to break it out. And then last week I saw that the news was telling me that there's going to be a cold front coming up. So I decided now's the time to bust out that coat. I'm going to dry clean it so I could wear it this week. So I started tearing apart my closet, and I couldn't find it. And I asked my fiance if she's seen it. She told me that she hasn't seen me wear it in a while, so she let her brother borrow it and wear it to a wedding. I was annoyed that hearing this, but I decided not to make a big deal, and I told her, tell your brother to bring it back so I can get it dry clean because I want to wear it next week. So now it's Thursday. Thursday rolls around, and he hasn't brought it back, so I ask her about it again nothing now it's friday 
and I haven't heard anything. So I called him. He says, oh, man, I he told me that he told my wife already last Tuesday that he got drunk at the wedding and lost my coat. So now I'm really annoyed. And I told him that he owes me the exact coat from that exact brand. So then last night, my fiance came home from work and she was in a mood and she handed me $100. She said that her brother dropped off the money and I shouldn't have made her brother pay for the coat since I knew he doesn't make a lot of money and I haven't really worn it except for a handful of times. I looked at the $100 and told her I wanted a replacement coat or the amount that it currently costs so I can buy a replacement coat and that the $100 wouldn't cover it. She said she went to the store, and the coat is now ticketed at $700. But she knew I only paid $100, so she told her brother that $100 would cover the cost. I argued that $100 doesn't buy me a new coat. We went back and forth, and we couldn't find any common ground. She finally offered to throw in an extra $100 of her own money and said that sarcastically, I'm coming out ahead. I argued that I'm still out of a coat, and nothing will satisfy my loss except for replacing that exact coat. She argued that I don't have the exact coat and that I can buy a similar one for like $200, which is what I now have. She thought I was being ridiculous and called her parents on speakerphone. Of course, they all <laughs> sided. mom and dad involved. <laughs> yeah. Of course, they sided with their children, and her dad tried to say that a man shouldn't be hung up over a coat. I told him that a man replaces what he loses. So now they're all mad at me for wanting to make a profit from their son and intimating that he is not a man. What's that word? Intimating. I-N-T-I-M-A-T-I-N-G. I don't know that word. I don't either. <laughs> wow, he's fancy. Okay. He must yeah, have a degree. <laughs> but he must have a degree. Homie's got a degree for sure. So is he wrong for wanting the exact coat as a replacement? Knowing all those details? Ooh, that one's kind of hard for you. I think he's an asshole. You do? Okay. I do Show think, your work. first of all, yeah, he bought that coat. It was on clearance for $100. That's normally, out of his pocket. Yes, normally. Normally a $700 coat. Would he have bought it at $700? We don't know that. I don't think he would. Maybe. Maybe not. We don't know. Because okay. or else he would have bought it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I see. I see that. So he paid out of his pocket a hundred dollars. Now his wife, fiance. Oh, fiance. I guess I'm guessing. It, well, he called him brother-in-law, but in mm. the in the whole post he says fiance. So I'm guessing future brother-in-law. Okay. Yeah. So his fiance should not have lent his coat to her brother without asking him first. True, true, true. That's I agree here. on her. I agree here. It's also on her brother, so his brother-in-law, mm -hmm. for losing a coat that was not his. True, true, true. So so let's say, because based on it, it sounds like he realized, the brother-in-law realized he lost the coat. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, he's he's like, all right. I'll talk to my sister and we'll I'll, I'll shoot her the money. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like the fiance might have, you know, told the brother-in-law that, you know, oh he 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 bought it for 100 bucks. Mhm. Mm cuz it cuz the brother-in-law provided $100 as far as we know for the coat. Mhm. Mm we don't know if he, you know, yeah, it's on him for losing the coat, but maybe he thought he was good paying $100. Do you do you think I, that so equates? maybe I'm not. Did you, did you want me to let you finish your side of, of okay, wait, wait, why wait, he's okay, the yeah. asshole? So he's let the me, asshole. I yeah, he's think so he's far, an he's asshole, the asshole for asking more than what he initially invested in this situation. Okay. And I feel like if I had paid a hundred dollars for a bag that was on clearance. I, I came up on a deal and it's like, I would never buy this bag, but because I saw it on sale, I'm putting in the money that I have for it now. Okay. Now, if I were to lose that bag, like no one took it, no one borrowed it. If I lose that bag, uh -huh. would I look at it as I lost this bag that was worth $700, but really I only lost $100. Yeah. 
No, I mean, I'm not talking about like re- resaleability or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Is yeah. that the word resellability? <laughs> good enough. Good enough. <laughs> I'm not planning to like resell it. So it's not like I'm thinking of it that way. But at like the physical cost of things, I lost out on $100. I didn't okay. lose out on $700 that, you know, what would have been, I guess, essentially. Yeah. Considering that if someone else so, uh, also lost it, if they lost it, I'm not going to up the price. It's like, well, that thing was worth $700. You lost my bag. It was $700. I only paid 100 But buy me a new one at whatever the cost or pay me back what it was worth or what I bought it for. I, I have somewhat of another example to see if I can change your mind. Okay. Okay. What is so? Let, okay. For, well, first off, what if he was willing to buy it at seven hundred? Okay. They get up to the reg and they're like, "Oh, you know what? This is actually on clearance for a hundred. Okay. Because maybe he was like, "What if he looked at it and he was like, "Man, do I want this?" And then you know, the employee walks by and he's like, "Oh, you know, that's on clearance." Mm-hmm. and he's like oh it's it like, is oh, okay oh then i gotta buy it right okay that that that's a that's one potential what if but because based off your your way of saying it is you spent a hundred dollars on 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 the coat mm-hmm. and it's worth 700 bucks and it's now lost and it's like ah now i'm only out a hundred dollars mm-hmm. now what if somebody were to give you your very first car first car you need a car you never had a car you got your first car and your mom's like hey i got you a car don't even worry about paying me back this is for you it's a gift cost zero dollars okay right okay and then your brother lets his friend borrow said car and they wreck it okay. they don't gotta give you another car it costs you nothing So nobody has to replace anything if you base it off of the same logic. And that's why I don't think that's right. Well, we're talking about a coat versus a car. Yeah, but it's (laughs) but it's still kind of the same thing. So basically what I'm getting is I don't think he's the asshole. I I don't think he's the asshole. You don't? No, I don't think he's the asshole. (laughs) Okay. I think I think you're right in the sense of it's it's the fiance's fault for Mm -hmm. letting out the coat go out to somebody else and it's the brother-in-law's fault for losing the coat Mm -hmm. if the brother-in-law thought or was told that it only cost him a hundred dollars him giving a hundred dollars that's good we're good we're clear we're even Mm -hmm. it now becomes the fiance's fault to make up the difference because if he really wants to replace this coat and it was like the one, like I said, if he was willing to buy it at seven and just so happened to get lucky and get it for a hundred. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like you basically took his stuff without your permission, without his permission and then lost it. And now are getting upset that you have to replace it. It's like, Hey, you took my stuff without asking. And now you're getting mad at me that I want it replaced. Why, why, why am I in trouble? I just want my thing back. I guess. I could see because I I think for him the the thing that he mentioned in the story uh-huh. which I think he puts in to mm-hmm. kind of give himself a little a little protection in the story mm-hmm. is I want my exact coat back because it, I liked it so much like I, it was such a key coat for me it was such a key item for me that I want that exact one back mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like any means necessary I want to replace it with the same one I feel like that's what makes it where i'm like oh yeah because if i had something that i really 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 loved Mm -hmm. that i got on clearance that's just a win that i got it on clearance Mm -hmm. and then to still lose it it sucks Mm -hmm. basically guy's not the asshole to me the brother-in-law is not the asshole to me the fiance is the one that fucked it all up i agree that part i feel like the fiance the fiance needs to replace it she she does honestly if she was like if she was the one who was willing to give it away no matter if she knew how much it meant to her fiance she should know that like oh this this is what my husband 
wasn't he wanted it and she should have owned up to like being the the what's it called the catalyst for losing it she may not have lost it in the first place but she gave it to her brother without her fiance's permission and whoever she lent it to lost it so i don't know i feel like if i uh let's say you had a pair of shoes yeah that you love you may not wear them a lot because you know like you don't want to crease them you don't want to get dirty whatever but you don't wear them a lot so i didn't see you wear them a lot and my brother let's say has the same size shoe i don't think they do guys do but i don't think so (laughs) but let's say my brother needs like a pair of shoes and for some reason i was like oh jay doesn't wear these too often you can borrow these just bring them back whatever if my brother like lost them got them destroyed whatever and i can't give them back to you i would feel like crap yeah like i'm sure my brother would also feel like crap but like I would feel terrible for have giving away something that meant a lot to you. And I would feel the need to re- want to replace it no matter how much it costs. Yeah, which which is why she's the asshole at the end of the day. Yeah, because she only gave like what, another hundred dollars? Yeah, she so she the brother paid her a hundred dollars and mm-hmm. that's what he thought it was worth, because that's what she probably told him it was worth. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, OP gets mad and is like, mm-hmm. No, I want my coat. So she gives him another hundred dollars and just says, here, deal with that. Take that. Go buy another coat. So my whole thing is, yeah, he's not the asshole because she didn't hand her brother a hundred dollars. She handed him a coat. Mm -hmm. He didn't need a hundred dollars for a wedding. He needed a coat. You should be handing back a coat. (laughs) And it's not like it. And it's not like she can't get said coat. Mm -hmm. It's there. There's a coat that you could replace it with. Mm -hmm. She just doesn't want to pay for it. Right. That's why. So he's not the asshole. She's the asshole. Why does it seem like these people in these relationships don't like each other? (laughs) (laughs) I don't think they do. (laughs) I guess in that situation, he wouldn't be the asshole. I guess it just sounds like at the really bottom line of like him trying to get money. It sounds like he's trying to get over. Yeah. What would what would determine if he was truly the asshole or not? Mm -hmm. was if for some reason she did fork over the money and he ended up with seven hundred dollars he has to go buy the coat right right he's not gonna go walk over like oh i bought two different yeah so the moment something else yeah yeah, exactly (laughs) so the moment he gets the seven hundred dollars if he does not buy the coat that he used as leverage to get seven hundred dollars because he's like no, I want the coat. It costs seven hundred dollars. So give me seven hundred dollars mm-hmm. so I can go get the coat. And mm-hmm. he doesn't get said coat. Then he is certified asshole. So but, we will never but, know. <laughs> yeah, we'll never know because she only she only gave him an extra hundred and then called mom and dad. That was weird. Like, why are you bringing them into this? Because I can't win. The, so I, I need want... mommy and daddy to like talk about it. And call him not a man, even Ugh. though his he rebuttals with another example of quote unquote not Grown a man, man tendencies. Yeah. But yeah. Ooh. He's not the asshole. I don't think so. And the brother's I not think, an asshole either. I don't know. I'd be pretty upset at the brother in law for losing. I mean, it. yeah, but but he offered he was to replace irresponsible it. Irresponsible with the, he, the he, drunkenness. Yeah. True, but he offered to replace it, and from the sound of it, it sounds like he was told that it cost a hundred bucks. I'm so, sure if the fiance told her brother it's a seven hundred dollar coat, bro, then I'm thinking he either doesn't even borrow it because she was saying that he doesn't make a lot of money, yeah. Right? So, I mean, you know, if I don't make a lot of money and I'm like, hey, sis, I need a coat, and my sister's like, I got my fiance's coat, but it's like a seven hundred dollar coat. I mean, he only got it for a hundred bucks. He only got it for a hundred bucks, but it's a seven hundred dollar coat. Yeah, you tell me that, I'm still gonna be like, ooh, I'll just go to Old Navy. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) it's like all I hear is this is seven hundred dollars worth. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) That's all I'm hearing, and I'm like, ooh, nah, I'm good, man. Yeah, maybe she was going to teach him a lesson. (laughs) That's what a lot of these people think they're doing. A lot of these people think they're doing that. That was fun. <laughs> yeah. How'd I do? Not bad? You did great. Okay. All right. <laughs> you can come back and do this again. 
another time. Sure. I mean, if the people who are listening and watching this out there, let us know down in the comments how Jay did in this episode. He did fine. (laughs) Thumbs up. You can thumbs up this video if you enjoyed (laughs) Jay being on this episode. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, ring that bell. Right? Is that what they, is that what they do? Yeah. Like yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so that is all that we have for this very special episode. Thank you for joining us on uh, listening to us in our Am I the Asshole articles that we found. If you've listened and watched to the end of this episode, Jay, what do you think they should comment? Like what kind of emoji? We usually uh, do like an emoji. Um, emojis. Can I get a T-Rex emoji? <laughs> Uh, Any particular reason why? <laughs> nah. <laughs> either either a T-Rex or a sailboat. I think there's a sailboat emoji. I think there no is. No reason. Well, I have no explanation for either one of those. Okay. That is so are cool. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, if you've made it to the end, leave us a T-Rex or a sailboat. Um, personally requested by our special guest. Um, <laughs> let us know if you have an opinion on any of these posts. Um, I'd like to hear opinions about the coat one. Do you think that the guy was an asshole for asking that much? Don't forget to follow, rate, and subscribe to this podcast. You can you can subscribe to this actual YouTube channel um, for more video podcasts. Or if you're more into just listening to the podcast while you're on your commute, if you want to just listen to the podcast, you can find us on any of your favorite podcast platforms. Um, you can also follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and Threads. Uh, check us out there, uh, chat with us, ask us any questions. Um, we love hearing from you guys. All right, everybody. Till next time. Stay away. In the best way. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>